Hey guys, what's up? It's Casey. Today I'm going to be doing my skincare routine. Um, I asked you guys on Instagram if you wanted me to sit down and talk about it or actually do it. And so I decided I just want to sit down and like talk about it, which is what most of you guys also wanted. Um, I post a lot on there on video ideas and like asking you guys like if this is what I want to do or if you guys want to see this or do this. So if you aren't following me on Instagram and you're new here, I'm Casey. Go follow me on Instagram, pretty active, um, but that will be a link down below for you guys. So if you guys are interested in seeing my skincare, go ahead and just keep on watching. Okay, first I wanna talk about how often I wash my face. So I wash my face twice a day, and when I'm lazy, I do it once a day, um, but for my face and my skin, I see the best results when I wash my face twice a day, so as soon as I get up, and right before I go to bed, I use these products both times so like when I walk you through the steps of my wash my face and all that fun stuff um, I do this both in the morning and at night and none of the products really switch out I use the same in the morning and in the night okay so to use my face um, a lot of a few of these products were also listed in my tips for people with dry skin so if you want to see that video I'll link it up here in the eye for you guys but um, anyways I also use this in my other video, but I live by this Clarisonic. I invested in it about a year or two ago, and it is really, really good at making sure my skin's really clean, because I always had this problem where I felt like my skin wasn't clean. And, but I use this guy, and I just um, go in first with the philosophy, love philosophy. It's like whitewashing this. Here we go. Microderm. Wow micro delivery exfoliating face wash and guys i got this like same time i got my moisturizer um so like three months ago and it's still like halfway in the bottle so a little bit goes a long way and i just kind of put a little bit on there and then i go in and do one full cycle um and then i will wash it off completely and then i go in with the neutrogena hydro boost um a hydrating cleansing gel and I actually just picked this up and I am going to do a review on it because it has been working pretty good for my skin but if you want to see all my thoughts on it and all that fun stuff you'll have to subscribe to my channel and then um, I'll post it in about a week of when I post this video but so I do a thing called a double cleanse so that's why I go in first with my exfoliant and then go back in with a cleanser after that for a full second cycle one because i have dry skin so i have to exfoliate twice a day um two i needed a hydrating cleanser to actually cleanse my pores after i got all the dead skin off so that's why i do it in there to get all the dead skin off and then to go back in and cleanse and clean my pores and something i kind of really noticed with using this neutrogena um cleanser is that i've always had a real problem with like blackheads on my nose and after like the first time i use that it literally like sucked them all out and I was like honey like I've been struggling with that for so so long so I'm actually really really excited to see how my like if I can clear all of my nose okay and then next after I get out of the shower I'll let my face air dry until it's damp and then I'll go in with a cotton like pad and then I just started using toner again just because I have not only do I have super super dry skin but I also have really really oily skin so I like to go in and I just picked up this alcohol free toner if you watched my tips for people with dry skin you'll know that when you have dry skin you don't want to put alcohol on your face but I also wanted to try to combat the oiliness that I get in my t-zone so I am trying this out i really really like it it kind of makes my skin feel a little, like a lot more hydrated after and then um a lot more even tone so i've been doing that and then i'll let that dry up almost all the way and then i'm going to go in with my ole hendrix here we go there we go ole hendrix um uplifting transformation eye cream and I'm gonna be honest this isn't my favorite because I've been using it for a while now and I kind of want to switch it up because I was just talking about this at work the other day but I feel like my fine lines are just getting more defined like when I say they're fine like they are fine like people look at me and they're like you don't have any but it's really important to start using creams and stuff like that in your early 20s so that when you get to be 30 like your skin is like preserved almost because 
eye treatment like eye creams and serums and stuff like that they don't reverse they only prevent so when you like when I use an eye cream it's basically like preserving how my eyes look so that they don't get more fine lines and more wrinkles and stuff like that but I've been using that for a year and I kind of want to switch to something new so if you guys have any good eye creams let me know down in the comments but if you're not using an eye cream I highly suggest using one so that you don't like get more wrinkly um yeah I'm 20 okay I hate myself anyways and then what I do is I go in next with my current moisturizer you guys know that I love the renewed hope in a jar by philosophy and I ran out of that and I have a few more moisturizers that were kind of hanging out in my beauty collection so what I did is I'm just gonna use up the rest of this um, here we go confidence in a cream and this is kind of more like an anti-aging it actually says it right on there transforming moisturizing super cream it is for all skin types and I have to say that it is pretty hydrating in the sense because it has like serums mixed in it because it is anti-aging so the, yeah I love being in the anti-aging community I will spend a hot dollar on some good moisturizer anti-aging serums and stuff like that but um, I like this pretty much oh I should probably show you the consistency of this so this is kind of the consistency that it has as you can tell it is looks a little yes like that a little shiny so that's how I can tell that it has like serums and it also says it on the box it's anti-aging so that's what I was really into like six months ago and I just never opened it so I decided I'm gonna just use up the rest of it and I really do like it for the anti-aging factor but if I could recommend any product it'd be the renewed hope in the jar for the dry skin so but both products work really really great okay and then that's what I do every single day I do that in the morning and in the night and it normally takes like 15 minutes in the morning and it, I normally take more of my time so half an hour in the evening with like taking all my makeup off and all that fun stuff so now I want to talk about things that I do about once a week or every once in a while when my skin tends to hate me <laughs> um so first off I want to talk about this Bosha um where is that exfoliating peel gel so I know most I don't know oh my god it's not focusing on what I wanted to okay anyways so a lot of people will tell you stuff like this only does only works no a lot of people say it doesn't work and they say this because the product itself balls up on your skin for the illusion that it is taking your dead skin off but um, when my friends come over we use this or like I'll go to my friend's house and I'll take this just in case like I'm having an extra extra dry skin day and I will just like take one pump move it on my face like just with my bare hands and it really does take the dry skin off like my and then because then I'll wash my face after that like what I'll do is I'll come home take like a makeup wipe wipe off my stuff use this and then I will go in and wash my face and do the whole shmeal that I was talking about with you guys and literally when I'm washing my face it's like squeaky like have you ever had your face like squeaky clean like so satisfying <laughs> so nice because <laughs> it's actually like clean there's no dry skin so um I do this about once a month like I honestly don't do that this I don't do that that much because it's a chemical exfoliant and a physical exfoliant so you have to be really careful you don't want to use it like every day I would say like once a week but this product definitely works for me um if you have really really dry skin and you feel like your skin just no matter how much you exfoliate or how much you hydrate your skin is just like peeling it's just not working for you this is what you want to invest in it's like 28 bucks or something like that and you can get it at Sephora um they don't really carry it at Ulta but it's a really good product to have especially 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 if your skin is really really dry and it just can't seem to you can't seem to get it all off okay next I want to talk about this so this is the origins focusing on me there we go it is a clear improvements active charcoal mask to clear pores we all know what active charcoal can do to the skin if you go anywhere on YouTube a bunch of people do those masks from like Korea I don't really know where they're from I haven't tried them I want to try them though but active charcoal is really good for drawing out impurities impurities yes for your skin so I like to use that when I've 
like no, like my skin is just like clogged. Like that's normally I use a lot of this in the summertime because then I'm more oily and flaky, but not so much flaky because like, you know, it's hot outside. So I tend to be a really, really clogged pores. So I like to use that like at least once a week. I think it said you can do it more, but no, it didn't say anything. But I would probably say do this like once a week or every three days. I wouldn't really do it any more than that because clay is drying. So, but it's really good at getting out blackheads and like really pulling out gunk. You know what I'm saying? Like really cleansing your skin really, really well. Okay. And then finally for all my friends that have struggled with the blackheads on your nose and on the corners like nobody likes that nobody likes that so i like to use the biore free your pores deep cleansing charcoal polar pore strips so i use this you can get them anywhere they're kind of a, sorry they're kind of expensive but i've been using those for a really really long time like that's probably the longest thing i've ever used in my life that has survived for my teenage like, I'm not even gonna say skincare routine because I barely wash my face and that's probably why I had acne. But anyways, um, it's a really, really good product to use. And I only use that when I see a lot of buildup on my nose, but since I switched to this, you know, hydrating cleanser, I haven't really seen a lot of buildup in my nose pores, which is like absolutely amazing. Like I've always had huge nose pores. So to find a cleanser that actually like minimizes them and actually cleans them, I'm like shook. Anyways, I just want to put in here, it's really important that when you listen to me talk about my skincare, I want to tell you guys that it's really, really important to, you know, take, like, if you take inspiration from this, fine, but it's really, really important to talk to people at, like, Alta and Sephora and, like, your dermatologist and, like, try things out for yourself because what works for me might not always work for you i just want to do this video so that if i'm doing extra steps or i'm using products that i might like that maybe you can test them out but it's really important to listen to your skin and look at the outcomes of it to make sure that you're not like making your skin like way more dry than it needs to be or like making it too oily or making it break out and stuff like that so just kind of take like what i do with a grain of salt because your skincare should be like custom to you and your skin and this has taken me so long to figure out so um yeah all right guys and then that's it for my skincare make sure that you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it so that i know to make an updated one or to do anything else i'll go into detail about anything in my skincare or beauty or makeup routine for you guys um i really enjoy making videos like this because when i was younger i just wish that i knew this stuff because i went through such a like patchy and oily and like my skin was just like treacherous like it was absolutely terrible like i couldn't wear makeup it was just bad so i wish that i had somebody that like came on here and was just like look at all these products this is what you need to do so yes if i can help anybody then i feel like i've done my job <laughs> and don't forget to let me know if you used any of these or if you learned anything from this video i'm really interested in knowing if any of you guys do the same stuff as me or if you're going to do any of this stuff but don't forget to hit me up on my social media accounts to keep in contact i have instagram twitter and my snapchat is now open so all you guys can follow me and see how weird i am on a daily basis but anyways thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video